I'm working in Photoshop CC, which is the latest thing. You have Photoshop CS6, which works exactly the same. So we start with a picture here in the background, and I'm going to duplicate that picture, that layer, and I'm going to duplicate the layer by dragging it onto the new layer icon. There, I've made a copy. That's fine. Now over on the side, in the tools, just above the hand tool, there's a, there usually is a line tool. It should be a line. It looks like a line. But if you go in there, you'll see that it says Custom Shape Tool. And that's the one we want. We can do these other things. There's an ellipse, because this process works with these other shapes as well. An ellipse, or a polygon, or a line tool, or the Custom Shape Tool. Let's do it with Custom Shape Tool. And you see that the custom shapes are in this bar here at the top. Uh, and you find the heart. Now, there's a little gear here, and this gear allows you to add all sorts of other different uh, uh, effects or shapes, animals and arrows and all of these different things. Uh, but we're going to stick with the heart for now. If you did one of these, you just select it and you append it. And for instance, watch, I'll do this. Uh, I don't even know what this is light bulbs. It has a choice whether to replace the ones that are already there or to append this new list onto it. So I'll append the new list and I should have some light bulb stuff somewhere, but I don't see it. Anyway, so we'll go to the heart. Here's the heart. Choose the heart and I'm going to make a big heart. Big heart. There it is. Uh, I'm going to go to the move tool. Click on the Move tool. Now, when you go to click on the Move tool, you might not see these handles that you're used to seeing for stretching and making things bigger. If you don't see them, look up here in the Move tool. I'm going to apply where I like it. See where it says Show Transform Controls. Oddly enough, by default, those are off. When they're very, very useful, they should be on. So there we are. There we have our heart on top of you. So we'll need to move, and I have to say okay, because I like it where I moved it and the shape I have. So I'll drag this between these two layers, all right? And then I'm going to go right on the line between these two. Click right on the line between these two layers and click the Option key. And now that ties this into that picture. That's called a clipping mask. So it would be layer, create clipping mask. It says release clipping mask now. But why can't, why does it look any different? Because this background layer is still on. Turn off the background layer. All right? Right now we're looking right past that heart at the rest of the picture. But with the background layer off, you're all set. So you can do a couple of things. There's the picture. You can still move it around. Move the picture around in there, or you can move the heart around, whichever you like. Let's put the heart in the middle. Put the heart in the middle. And you there. How do you like that? Okay, so that's how you do it. It's custom shape tool here over the hand. Custom shape tool. Choose the custom shape that you want up here. Make the shape, move the, oops, cancel, move the shape uh, underneath the background copy that you made. Um, and then with the option key held down, click on the link right between the two of those. That turns it off. And I'm going to click right again. Option click on the line, turns it back on. Okay? So you could take that layer, um, drag it into another image. Or you could flatten this and it would like that. Be sure you don't uh, save your original. Do a save as. Um, and there you have it.